Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up what's going on in Greensboro City government. I'm your host, Josh Johnson, and alongside me, as always, the man in the, and it's in control, Mr. Devin <laughs> I was all I was almost ready to start like an intro and then I got that hook. A long list <laughs> yeah. of things. You gave me the look, man. I was like, oh, oh no, okay, it's Devin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's up, Greensboro? Thank you for joining us this week. We really appreciate every time you tune in. Well, Greensboro, you know, we've been dealing with crime. That's something that I think the entire so, country has to, to right. deal yeah. with. A lot um, of I think most cities to some level deal with yeah, it yeah, yeah definitely and we know it's a problem it's mm-hmm. it's something that's been talked about especially by our police department well they've developed um it, it's been a while we'll get some some history on it but okay. they've developed a really strong program called the uh, greensboro gift for crime stoppers mm-hmm. as a tool to to assist them fight fighting crime yep. and so with us today we have the coordinator of that program is stacy finch she's joining us because they have some big news that they want to <laughs> <laughs> announce <laughs> um, how about you start with that okay thanks Devin and Josh for having me on here I'm super sure. excited to thanks come on and talk here. about Crime Stoppers so yeah we had a big announcement last week that the city of Greensboro awarded us a hundred fifty thousand dollar grant nice um, to help increase our maximum rewards from two thousand to five thousand dollars so we Ooh. more than doubled our rewards uh, for yeah. people who send in tips that help us solve crime. So yeah. we're super excited and hoping that this brings in more tips in yeah. Greensboro and Guilford County. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So give us an idea of how Crime Stoppers works. Like, what is the process? Well, it's an anonymous tool citizens can use to report crime. It You can call, you can go online, submit a tip okay. through our website or p3tips.com. And each person that sends a tip or calls us gets a code number. That's how you remain anonymous, and that's how you get paid. If your tip leads to solving a crime or preventing a crime or confiscation of drugs, cash, stolen property, illegal firearms. So the code number keeps you anonymous, and you have to keep up with it and report, you know, kind of check in with us, see if the tip helped lead to solving a case, and then that's how you get paid. I was going to ask you if, if you like, if the tip does lead to something, do you guys reach out and communicate, you know, get back in touch with the person? Because, but you just said, you know, they need to kind of stay in touch with you. So it doesn't sound like you're calling them back and stuff like that. You're well, each person they get a login uh-huh. um, to our online portal called P3 Tips, and okay. everyone has their own. Um, ID and okay. password. So we can communicate through P3 okay. and it's still anonymous. It just comes through as kind of like a little message. Yep. If you download the app P3 tips, you get a message on your phone to check P3. You have to, you know, use a security code to get in. So it is private. It sounds, and it sounds yeah. very secure. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, the software company we use, that's the, the name of their game is yeah anonymous that's awesome so they strip all that information and and when you call you have to actually call back because you don't have their phone number right right Right. so i guess that's what i was trying to ask right (laughs) so if they call us and they don't take down the login information they'll have to call us to check in yeah because we'll never take down a number or email nothing nice yeah yeah. that's good that's good so what are some things that, um, I guess we, we just kind of went over that, the things right. that, that truly make this anonymous, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, yeah. So let's shift gears a little bit here slightly. We've talked about kind of how the program works, but why do you think that this program can make a significant impact on how we solve crime here in Greensboro? Well, you know, police can't be everywhere. We can't see everything. Police officers just can't do this without the community's help. And so we need people to be the eyes and ears in the community. Everybody's heard this slogan so much. If you see something, say something. But it's true. Mm -hmm. It is. And definitely call it in. I mean, we there were three major tips that we solved or crimes that we solved this summer. Most recently, the missing person, Joy Morfield, she was murdered by a man in her body was found in Chatham County, but we wouldn't have known that unless someone ca- called Crime Stoppers and notified us of that 
a specific death. Yeah. And so they were able to arrest Jamie Johnson for that murder. Also, Malik Moore, he was the man that murdered someone in Greensboro and Charlotte mm-hmm. um, just recently. Yeah. Random people he didn't know. And so someone called Crime Stoppers, told us where he was, and the police were able to go out there and capture him mm-hmm. before he did anything else. Yeah. And then earlier in July this year, the university Mark Clerk was shot and robbed. And we put out the picture of the suspect just with his eyes showing yeah. and someone called in and identified him. So it does matter wow. and it does make a difference. And police couldn't do this without these people yeah. taking a stand in their community and, and reporting it yeah. and then getting a cash reward at the same time. <laughs> <Right. Yeah. laughs> so we understand how important this information is and we want to reward people for that which is the increase for five thousand dollars is important we want to know people to know that we value the information Mm -hmm. as well as the police department and the sheriff's office yeah and i mean uh, that's kind of the thing you know we you have this this blurred line about police presence and things like that when in in actuality it starts with the community to Mm -hmm. kind of police itself right right exactly and and we get calls every day please send more police out here please we want police in the community we Mm -hmm. want the patrol presence beefed up here please like help us so people are doing what they can and and really taking part in keeping their community safe and and reporting this stuff yeah, I, I really like what you just said about you have to you take a stand. Yeah, I mean, you want your and do it safely. Be, yeah, you do it safely, mm-hmm. anonymously. Everybody wants their community to be safe, and right. that's what these folks are doing mm-hmm. is they're standing up for themselves and their community. So yeah, and we're so thankful to the city of Greensboro for their support in this because really the council, the mayor, the the police chief, everyone supports this program, and we're so thankful. Yeah, and I mean, I guess the support really comes from a place of history because i mean you know it's a program that you should want to support but at the same time you've kind of backed up what that was about you gave us a couple of uh specific instances but can you kind of tell us about a little bit of the history of of crime stoppers how much how many uh tips have been have come in how long have you been doing this Mm -hmm. i mean how much money have you uh have you given out in rewards where has that money originally come from that type of stuff (laughs) it was like seven questions that's okay (laughs) that's great no this year is actually our 40th anniversary oh wow Wow. yeah so it was started in 1981 um we've received over 40,000 tips over 40 years so um it's we've solved over 39,000 cases um I'm sorry, 9,000 cases, excuse me, 39,000 arrests. And um, it's just, it was started back then. And it, ever since then, we've never had anyone be revealed. Anyone who's called in a tip or left a mobile tip, anything, we've never had anyone identified. So it's a trusted program. Yeah. Yeah. And that's our main thing is we want people to trust us. I know a lot of people are leery and they think this is not anonymous. It's 2021. They can get my IP. They can get my phone number. (laughs) We can't. Like P3 tips strips that information. When people call our hotline, it says private number. We couldn't get it if we wanted it. And a lot of people, when they call, they go ahead and tell, this is so-and-so and and I live here. And I'm like, yeah. We don't put that information down, even if people say, my name is so-and-so, and, so, and mm-hmm. we strip it all away Yeah, yeah. just yeah. to keep people safe. So so even if you call and you accidentally get that information, you don't have to worry about anybody right. having it. <laughs> we, would, we wouldn't. We strip it. Kind That's of, great. Yeah, yeah. So it's we're very proud of the program, and we want people to know that, that it truly is anonymous and that for 40 years— it's safe. That's that's a good record. So, yeah. along with Crime Stoppers, in conjunction with Crime Stoppers, there's also a Gun Stoppers. Is that correct? Right. So, so. Gun Stoppers is a small program under the Crime Stoppers umbrella. Mm-hmm. So it's operated the same exact way. It's just a focus on illegal firearms. So we're not trying to take any legal guns away from anybody. Right. We're pro gun. Have your gun, but own it legally. But if you do know someone who has an illegal firearm that shouldn't. Or mm-hmm. if the if they're manufacturing fully automatic guns, right. or if they're con- modifying them, right, illegal modifying ways, yeah. them. If it's stolen, <clears throat> if you find out they're a felon with a firearm, you can call that in under Crime Stoppers and through Gun Stoppers. We pay a minimum, 
a minimum of 250 per gun. Okay. Oh, so that's okay. a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. You know, we just last month we got a tip about someone with illegal firearms and eight guns were recovered. And wow. one was a weapon of mass destruction. Good gosh. So that's that's a lot of money. Yeah, eight it, guns, yeah. 250 per gun. So we want to incentivize people to help us get these guns off the streets and mm-hmm. help stop some of these aggravated assaults, shooting into occupied dwellings and homicides. Mm. You know, so that's There's too yeah. much of it. Yeah. yeah. Gun violence is really feels like it's at its all time high. Right. In the, here in this country. I mean, yeah. I know we're specifically talking about about Greensboro, but it just seems like it's everywhere. It is everywhere. And it's it's awful. And so we just want to get these guns off the streets and out of the hands of criminals. Absolutely. Well, let's go over again what those um, options are a little bit more specifically to call in or report a tip. So you can call 336-373-1000. That's our hotline number. Also, our website, ggcrimestoppers.com. There's a, on the front page, there's a button that says submit a tip. Okay. You can click that. It'll take you to p3tips.com or the easiest way, p3tips.com. That will take you to the software company you'll click united states north carolina greensboro and boom you're there okay so alamance county has the same program mecklenburg county has the same program high point we all use this crime stopper software and we can all communicate with each other if we get each other's tips it's really easy you log in you can talk to us type in say hey i want to check on my tip we can give you an update okay so those are the three well that third way is download the mobile app p3 tips yeah so it's all the same company and the same um, Crime Stopper software, but just three Multiple different ways. ways get, right? And the hotline's 24 hours, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, 24 so. hours, and we have Spanish-speaking operators, okay, too. Yeah. And so holidays, nights, weekends, anytime people can leave a tip. Whenever you yeah. need to get in touch with them. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. All right, folks. There's the info. Yeah. There it is. And need, they're giving out more money. And there's Yeah, That's and right. there's more money to be made. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, so, you know. Take that stand and and do do what's yeah. good for your community. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Stacy, we definitely appreciate all the information that you came and shared today. Thank yep. you for having me. It this was a fun. pleasure to have you on the show. You yeah. guys do a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned in weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget, you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. That's it for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Talk City. Be sure to watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN is available on Spectrum Channel 13, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and North State Channel 31. GTN also streams live on Roku and the city's website at greensboro-nc.gov. Have a good one. Take care.